Hello and welcome to another Spass Kangaroo tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to update our Minecraft rig and add some thickness to the body to give it more 3D stylized appearance. And we're also going to start a face rig. We won't do the actual rigging until the next tutorial, but we will be doing shape keys this time. So, let's get started. We're going to start with the hair. So select all the areas of the mesh that are covered in the hair texture. and then hit P on your keyboard and click by selection. This will separate the hair into a different object. Make sure to parent the hair to the head bone with control P. Otherwise, when the head moves, the hair won't move. Next, add a solidify modifier to the hair. This will give it the 3D thickness that you saw in the picture at the beginning. At this point, you can either remove the texture or give the object an entirely new material like I did. It'll be easier to change around colors and stuff later on. Now we're just going to do the same thing for the shirt as we did for the hair. Make sure to select all of the model that is part of the shirt and deselect any parts that are skin. Instead of separating the shirt into a separate mesh, I'm actually going to assign it to a new vertex group. The solidify modifier can also just work on a solitary vertex group. Once again, I'm going to remove the texture and assign a different material to the shirt. Then we're going to give the shirt some thickness because for some reason the solidify modifier didn't work in this situation. Sometimes it's just the normals don't work out and in this case it didn't work so I'm just going to add it manually. Next, we're going to extrude the eyes back to create the eye sockets, and then the mouth to create the mouth area. Now I'm just going to remove the texture for the rest of the body and go in and manually assign the correct colors for that material. I'm creating a skin material, a pants material, and a shoes material. Now add a cube to make the pupils for the eyes. And then create a material for it. It's time to create the shape keys. First, add two vertex groups called left and right and assign the left half of the face to the left side and the right half to the right side. We're doing this to make the assignment of shape keys a little bit easier. So instead of having to close one eye at a time, we'll close both and then assign the one to the left half and one to the right half. So let's do that now. Start by adding a shape key, then edit the mesh so that both of the eyes are closed. Name the shape key and set the blend to the vertex group of the left side. Set the shape key value to one and click new shape key for mix. Then do the same for the other side. Create an eye open shape key using the same technique. Then create a jaw drop shape key. You don't have to worry about mirroring it to the other side because you probably won't ever want to have the jaw only open on one half. So just uh, create that shape key, name it. Now create an eye uh, squint shape key using the method before. Mm -hmm. 
and eyes worried shape key. Now create a few phonemes for O, E, V, F, M for lip syncing. Finally, create some eyebrows, again with cubes, make uh, similar to the way we created the pupils. And create some bones that you can parent those meshes to. So there you go, you can now experiment with the shape keys and make different expressions. Um, and next time, we cover the Minecraft tutorial series in Blender we will make a face rig so it's easier to use the shape keys uh, than to just drag the sliders around. So I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like, favorite, and subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you think of this tutorial series and what tutorials you'd like to see in the future. Thanks for watching and we'll see you all later.